I'm out of breath. I just ran up the stairs. Uh. <sighs> All right, guys. So here I am, back again. Back again. Once again. Okay. I'm sorry. So for some reason, I have really good lighting right now. You may be noticing that I was wearing this outfit in another video. For some reason, the lighting is just right. So I was like, I might as well film my other haul now. Like I'm up, I'm in the filming mood. So hi, I have another haul. Um, again, I'm going on vacation. I bought a lot of stuff. Um, justification. I love to shop and also normally in the summer I work as a lifeguard and it's kind of all I do all summer or all I would do all summer so most of my summer clothes are just Lululemon shorts and Lululemon tank tops and t-shirts so I really haven't gone on like a nice summer vacation in a really long time and now that my family is comfortable with international travel again we're taking that vacation and I couldn't be happier. I have never Happier. I'm sorry. I'm like I feel like I'm on crack right now. Anyways, so let's let's begin at the very beginning. A very good place to start. I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um. Right. So the first place is Loft, and you're probably like, Ava, it's kind of an old lady store. And you know what? Don't don't say that about Loft. Actually, no. You can. You can. Um. I'm gonna cut that part out because that was just cringe. Okay. So the first place I have things from, the first place I have things from is Loft. So um, my mom and I mean I think most of my family knows that I have like a penchant for lemons, and anything lemon scented, lemon flavored or lemon printed like I love. And my mom sent me a link and was like, Loft has a ton of lemon stuff, and I was like, Oh my god, cute. And she was like, I'll buy it for you. And I was like, love. Anyways, so I got two things. First, I got this adorable little short sleeve cardigan. And of course, it has lemon all over it, lemons all over it. And I think this will be really cute with either shorts or jeans. Like, I think this would look really good with my A Goldie, like low rise jeans. I think that'd be really cute. So I'm definitely excited for that. So next I got this really cute little pair of shorts and again they have the lemon print on them and they have pockets which we love. Um, they're a little bit big but they're not like too big that I can't make it work. So yeah that was my little loft haul and then next let's go with Sephora. Um, all of the makeup girlies are literally gonna wring my neck, but I have had the same foundation since freshman year, right before freshman year of high school. And I'm going to my junior year of college, so it's been it's been like seven years. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Like I said, I don't sugarcoat anything. So I finally, I just like, I don't like going into Sephora and like not looking like I don't know what I'm doing, you know? I don't know. Does anyone else feel like that? Like, I don't know. I think honestly, it's like a residual side effect from like being young and just feeling like no one's going to take you seriously. But I'm like, I'm an adult. Like, I should be able to go into Sephora. And the people there are actually really nice. Like, the, the woman who helped me, first of all, was gorgeous. And second of all, was so nice. It helped me out very well. So, that being said, a little fun anxiety story for you there. Let's let's talk about what I got. So the th the one thing I actually went in for um, was the one size turn up the base beauty blur bomb. So I've been seeing this on Instagram, and I've been watching reviews, and I just thought that honestly this is the perfect foundation for me. I think it's technically like. They market it as kind of a BB cream, but honestly, it gives more of like a medium coverage foundation. Like it really does. Um, it's definitely very moisturizing. It goes on so nicely to all the skin I've seen. I've seen a lot of acne prone people using it and I'm definitely very acne prone. And it also has great redness cover because I do get a little red um, 
and it was $33, which honestly I don't think was that bad of a price because the Clinique one that I used was like $40. And then I used to use KVD Beauty for dance makeup and that one was probably like $45 as well. So, and then I also, okay, I was like thinking about getting this and I ended up just doing it. So this is the Miss Dior perfume. Um, we're just gonna open it now because why not? So I was between a few scents. It was this one, the Gucci Flora, and then one of the Joe Malone ones, which honestly I might go back for I might go back again. We'll, we'll see. So the reason I went with this one was because um I have the Gucci Eau de Memoir and it lasts for like five seconds and I paid like a hundred something dollars for it. So I was like, I was asking the girl who was helping me out. She's like, I have it. I love it. It lasts so long. I was like, great. So I'm getting it. So I just got the big size because I was like, if I like it and I'm going to use it, like I might as well just get the big one because I feel like that's just like more bang for your buck, you know? And she smells so good. Like I like it because I like like a girly floral scent. But this is not like giving my grandmother like it's giving a younger vibe i don't know what it is about it um but yeah and obviously it's also really beautiful but i just wanted something that would last me a long time I should mention i got the eau de parfum because the eau de toilette like just doesn't last as long um so in my in my opinion it's always worth it to get the eau de parfum and if you're getting eau de toilette like good luck like, honestly, I never feel like it. I think the Gucci one is an eau de toilet. Because it's giving to- Sorry. It's giving toilet. Can you tell that I took AP French? <laughs> no. It smells really good. Um, And then I got a mini super goop unscreen sunscreen. Um, I just wanted something... Since the... um. The Turn Up The Base does not have any SPF in it. So I wanted just like a very like neutral sunscreen. I do have a tendency to like, again, I, I'm acne prone. So I wanted something that would just like go on my face smoothly and go under makeup well because a lot of sunscreens are just so oily. And I've heard a lot of really good things about this. So I'm really excited to try it. And then they didn't have it in stock in store, but I also ordered the resetting spray. So it's like a spray that has SPF in it, which I am like so excited about because that way when I'm wearing makeup, I don't have to like either burn or use powder sunscreen, which just make me look cakey. Like I can just spray myself and I'm reapplied. So I'm really, really excited to use that. And then I got a little freebie. So I got the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Power Peptide Resurf Serum and Protini Polypeptide Cream in a little sample size. And I really wanted to try the Polypeptide Cream, but I just like didn't want to risk getting the big size and then having it not work for my skin because I do have pretty sensitive skin. So now I can just try it out. I'll mention it now from Nordstrom. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkasm. Um, it's coming in the mail. You, I'm sure you all know what it looks like because literally it's, there are millions of videos of it on TikTok. If you don't know what that is, then girl, just go look up a TikTok compilation of it. It's definitely out there. I have the contour wand and I love the formula. It's super easy to blend. And like, I'm not like, you know, a makeup artist. And I think it's like a super easy product to use. And I even have one that's like definitely too dark for me. And I can always blend it out to look really natural. So yeah love it next i have one thing from black bow swim so i have the Thea bikini in berry cherry um a little real moment um i don't feel like doing a try on for the bathing suits i'm not feeling great about my body right now and you know what we all have those those times in our lives um i'll include stock photos of these if you really want to see what they look like but here are the bottoms and they have a little heart is that not literally the cutest ever they are pretty cheeky and they do sit really nice like high on the waist um the black bell bikini brand honestly like one of my favorite fitting ever 
like I don't think I've ever had a bathing suit that like fit me as well except for Montee Swim which is double the price which I definitely don't mind spending the money on Montees. Like, I love them. But for anyone that's looking for something a little bit more affordable than Black Bow is definitely your girl. And they have the most unique prints ever. And obviously this isn't sponsored. I have like 10 subscribers, but like, seriously, Black Bow Swim Girls, I'm telling you. And they definitely last too. I have another one that I wore all last summer. And it lasts. It looks the exact same. And then this is a top. And then it has the little heart. It's very cute. The only thing I couldn't tell that it was a triangle in the um on the website because the straps are thick so I did not realize it was a triangle top but honestly I'm thinking I might just like sew the sleeves the sleeves I might just sew the straps down the back because for for girlies with the big chest um the triangle top is not always great I mean it doesn't look really cute I'm gonna be honest but it's not it's not the most comfortable but it's cute anyways so the next bathing suit I have is from Beach Riot. So here is the top. And this is the, oh, it doesn't say it on here. I'll just, I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen. So here's the top and it just ties around the neck and it has this big like O-ring in the middle. It is so cute. And then the little, um, they're like little tassels at the end that are really cute and sparkly. And this is just adorable. The only thing I don't like is that the padding isn't removable. But if I want to, I can just cut a hole in the lining and take it out. Like if I really don't like the padding. And then these are the bottoms. Oh, they're inside out. Um, same print. Um, and the little tassels too. I will say these are tiny. They're so small. These are size large. Like, I think they have a pretty average shape. Like, I'm like a six to eight, and these are size large, and they're giving full cheek on the back. They are giving full cheek. So, just to let you know, the Beach Riot, Beach Riot, I think, kind of rounds small in general, if I'm honest. In my opinion, Beach Riot runs small. I don't know. Do with that information what you will. And then, the last bathing suit I got was from Athleta. And then, so here it is and here's the top this is does it say on it oh scoop bikini top dwd and this is in the color fuchsia um yeah i really like it it's definitely good for like it has a lot of good support in it and the back is thick too um which isn't amazing for tan lines but it it gives like a sports bra effect so you know doing water sports like tubing and water skiing and swimming and stuff this is definitely like really good for that and it's going to actually give me support on like a lot of you know bathing suits that are more for fashion than function and then here are the bottoms they're just like a very typical low rise um bikini bottom definitely give a good amount of coverage in the back this is a clean medium bikini bottom oh and i got both of those in a size medium and it is so refreshing to have like the d double d option for a bikini top because most of the times like and I'm not even like that small in the rib cage but I just feel like most of the time like bikinis just like don't fit right for my chest and I know I've talked about my boobs a lot but like they're a problem but I really appreciate Athleta for having the bigger size option I know that Triangle does that too um and there are definitely other brands there's one that I can't think of it but there's and I know there's another one that does that but all right let's do depop next because i have two things from depop um so this one is a dress from faithful the brand and it's this little i mean you can't see it because of the way it's hung up but i'll show you the try on it's just a really cute little mini dress um with these little like ruffled straps and a little ruffle at the bottom um, is super cute and I love Faithful the brand. Definitely recommend their clothes. And then this, I will link her Depop shop below. Um, it, her name's, it's like Maddie something. Um, but she custom makes corsets. And this one was one she had already pre-made, but it's just beautiful. It's like this twelve print with like a monkey on it i think it's a monkey at least 
and then it has these beautiful blue satin straps obviously of course it's style on the back so i'm so glad i purchased that and she's for hand making she's not expensive either definitely check her out if you're in the market for a bracelet and then i have two things from three sisters boutique in annapolis um so here's the first thing it's this midi dress and then it has like the straps that tie around the neck and then a kind of a little cutout and the cutout hit me in just the right place and it's definitely very summery and fun so I can't wait to wear that. And this one which was definitely out of my comfort zone but I actually really really liked it. So it has these cute little flutter sleeves and it's tight throughout and then it's like ruched all down the bottom and it definitely doesn't look that cute like on the hanger but on bod yeah it looks really good i i will say it i look good in that dress and then i have two things from selkie so first i have this dress which this is the 60s mesh kirsten nighty and i got this in a size extra large and it's too big for me so I'll show you guys a little loif hack. So I found, I had seen this hack on like TikTok or something. I found these like dress cinchers. So you just like snap it down to the dress and then it cinches it on in. So now it looks just right. And yeah, it's really, really cute. And I love this. This is a Bella 12 print. I'm kind of obsessed with Selkie. So I just like know that by heart, but um, yes i'm so excited to wear this and i'm like obsessed with puff sleeves i mean a lot of people are but i just like love i love historical fashion so i'm loving for it and then the other thing from selkie um i did buy this off revolve actually but this is the da vinci puff and i got this in a size extra large as well and this fits perfect um, the selkie sizing, I believe, is Australian, so definitely check the size chart because when I first tried on a selkie dress, it was in person. Luckily, I didn't order it. I tried on the large, and that shit was not zipping up, let's be honest. So, look at their size chart. Um, I mean, in dresses, I normally buy a medium. For, for selkie, I buy an extra large. I'll just, oh, she fell. Anyways, so, it has these, okay, I need to steam it, obviously, but... It has these beautiful big bows on the sleeves, huge puff sleeves, and then this little like, kind of like cottony insert. And then the whole dress is this gorgeous, bright pink silk satin. Mm, I'm pretty sure that's light pink. Oh, she is my piece de resistance. From a website called Singer22, um, I have this Air Nation sweatshirt. So it's green and it has a little smiley poo right on the boob. Um, I have the matching sweatpants too, which I'll show you in the next clip because they haven't arrived yet. Pro tip guys, buy the men's sweatpants from Air Nation because they have pockets and the women's ones don't. Um, I also got this adorable sweat set from Boys Lie, but it's really thick and it was too hot to try it on. So, uh, thanks for stopping by and that's going to be the end of the haul today. See you guys soon.